Okay, let's give you guys some practice now. So, um, so find the power series representation of this function, and then also find the interval of convergence. Um, so, so start from here, rewrite it in in this form, and then work backwards to to get into this form. Once you're in this form, translate it to this. It is this that you're seeking, and remember to find the interval of convergence. So, press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, uh, we want to rewrite this in uh, in in this form. But uh, the uh, the problem is this is a positive and th this is a, a negative. So uh, so rewrite this as rewrite it as this. So now uh, now this is your a here is one, and then uh, your common ratio is this thing here, and then now you've got a minus here. You've got a minus here. So uh, so re Rewrite this. Rewrite this as uh, as 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 this. Okay. So so once you're in this form, hang on, bear with me. Once you're in this form, uh, once you're in this form, you can you can work backwards to uh, to obtain this. So the first uh, the first term would be one. And remember, your a here, your a here, your a here is actually one. Your a here is one. So in this case, um. Well, if you look at this, a is one. Don't forget, a is one, so we can just ignore it. So, uh, so put your r into there. So put your put your put your r into here. So the first term would be r, and then it would be sorry. The first term would be one. So that's this one here, and then the next one would be r, which is this thing here, and then the next one. Well, put um, put this into into the r here. So it would be this thing, which is negative x squared and then you you square it and then your next term will be you putting this thing into the r here which would be minus x squared and then you cube it and then you cube it and so on all the way to infinity and then uh, and then once you're here rewrite it in the summation form so if you uh, if you imagine this to be 1 so here you've got this same thing to the power 1 same thing to the power 2 same thing to the power 3 so here's 1 Two, three, and so on. So, so to to write it in summation form, you know this is gonna, this is the recurring thing. So, so it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be minus x squared. And notice one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So n has to be here, and then n equals. Well, the first, if, if you make this to be zero, then uh, then the first term would be uh, would be something to the power of zero, which would be one. So, uh, so, so, so n should be, uh, n should start at zero and then all the way to infinity. So once, once you're in, once you're in this form, you can always translate it to this form. So once you're in, once you're in this form, you can always translate it to this form here. So the next question is, so, so this is your, your series, uh, your, your power series representation of the function. But then we now need to find the, uh, the interval of convergence. Remember for, for convergence, we we require we require the the uh, the common ratio to be less than one. So remember, for for convergence, we require absolute value to be absolute value of the common ratio to be less than one. So our common ratio is this thing here. So we require the absolute version of this to be less than one. So we we require the absolute version of this, the absolute version of this to be less than one. So, uh, so now, well, absolute of a negative, so that just gets rid of the negative. So that would then give you this, and then translate this to this. So, uh, so for convergence, for convergence, we require x to be, uh, to be less than, less, strictly less than 1, greater than, than, uh, than negative 1. So, so we know that anything in between, between negative 1 and 1, we know for sure it's definitely the, the series will definitely converge. We now need to check the endpoints. So when, when n so when x equals negative one, put it into here, negative one squared, that would be positive, and then you've got a negative here. So so you've got negative to the power of n. So so as n moves from zero to um, to infinity, you're just you're just gonna get minus one, one, and minus one and so on. It's just gonna oscillate back and forth so you know it's never going to converge it, it, it just oscillates back and forth so dead on negative one we know it's going to be the series here will diverge uh, now we need to check what happens when it's dead on one well dead on one 
put into here, 1 squared would be 1, uh, negative 1, is that right here? Uh, yeah, so, uh, so, so that, that there will give you, how to put 1 into here, uh, 1 squared would be 1, and then you've got a negative here, so that would be like this. Again, it's going to oscillate back and forth, so it's never going to, it's never going to converge. So, so when it's dead on 1, the series here will diverge. So, so when it's dead on negative 1, it's going to diverge. Dead on 1, it's going to diverge. So our interval convergence is strictly greater than negative 1 and strictly less than, less than 1. So anything in between, we know this thing here is going to converge. Okay?